Good morning, Caesar, Emily, Gadiel, Aisha. How are you guys doing? Thank you for viewing this PowerPoint. Um, this PowerPoint is going to guide you in your daily activities. Each and every day, uh, we'd love for you to practice these skill sets, master them, and then we'll move on. So the goal of this week is to become proficient with multiplication and read and summarize grade level material. Now, I know that uh, we're not 100% proficient with our multiplication facts yet, but um, practice makes perfect. We really need to make sure we get these multiplication facts dialed, memorized, um, so that when you move to fourth grade, uh, you have an incredibly successful year. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. What I'd love you to do is to create a multiplication chart. And one of the ways that you can do that is by thinking about all of the numbers that you know and can skip count by. So what I want to do is I want to demonstrate this. Um, obviously, we know our twos, our fives, and our tens. Um, but what I want you to really do is tackle the ones that you're, you have a little more difficulty with. The sixes, the sevens, eights, the nines, elevens, and twelves. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a row and column with numbers. I do not have enough room to go all the way up to 12, but I'll just start a vertical numbering system. Remember, we're going to be creating a multiplication chart. Um, what I'm doing is just demonstrating that, and then you can complete this daily on your own. Okay, so that is the vertical column. I'm now creating a row, and as you guys can see, I'm just counting by ones right now. All right, I'm going to just keep going, keep going. I'll probably stop somewhere around 10 or 11. If I have enough room, okay, sorry about that, none, and then that is 10. So what we'd like to see is that you guys create a row of 12 and a column of 12. So we would keep on going 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and obviously 11, 12, I ran out of room. But what we're going to see is, and as you, as you guys remember with extra math, usually the numbers that we uh, often struggle with are our sixes, our sevens, our eights, our nines, um, sometimes the twelves. So um, start working on that. So if you were to take a look, let's let's tackle sevens. We know that seven times four. I'm going to go down seven, and then we're going to go across the four, and this would be twenty-eight. Now, students who have memorized um, their sevens, <clears throat> excuse me, would know how to skip count. 7, 14, 21, 28, and then 35. Okay? And as you can see, 7 times 5 is 35. We're going down the row, or sorry, across the row and down the columns. And then you'll start seeing a pattern. These numbers are increasing by seven. So skip counting by sevens, um, going down the column. Or if you go across, you can see uh, seven times four is 28. And I know I'm staying with sevens right now, but I want to show you that you can skip down across or you can skip, skip down, down, okay? And eventually what will happen is if you skip down by enough numbers, um, you will have an entire multiplication chart created, okay? So this is new to all of us. Many of us um, have practiced uh, skip counting early on in the year. Remember August and September, we would quiz you on that at the end of every week. We want to go back to that to help you guys. And the reason why is because there are still many students who uh, do not have that strategy that to help them when it comes to recalling a multiplication fact. So uh, once again, uh, you are creating a multiplication chart on a piece of paper. Uh, for example, 9 times 7, 63. Boom. You just match it up. You basically go down the column and across the row, and 9 times 7 would equal 63. Uh, the next small little activity is um, something we have experience with. Um, most of us know our twos, our fives, and our tens. Uh, for example, if I asked you to skip count by tens right now, you would do it super quick. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Well, we want you to be that quick with your fours, your sixes, your sevens, your eights, and your nines. So um, 
please go ahead and practice skip counting by these numbers, 6, 12, 18, 24, and then go all the way up to the 12th number. So basically what that would mean is that you would count up all the way by sixes and then you would eventually get to 72. Why? Because six times 12 is 72. And I would like you to do that um, with all of these numbers, two through 12. So every day, um, practice repeated addition, skip counting, get those, get those numbers memorized. And last but not least, um, what we want you to do is get on to extra math. Um, practice multiple rounds and our goal. We're going to track you. We want to make sure that we are increasing 10% each week. Um, if we do meet that goal uh, at the end of June uh, when school's out, uh, you guys will be 100% proficient uh, and I'll be stoked. Your fourth grade teachers will be stoked and you'll be happy with all the hard work that you put forth. Remember, practice makes perfect. We have to tackle this. Um, one of the biggest challenges to fourth grade is just knowing your multiplication facts. If you're really proficient, um, that year uh, is a breeze. Okay, now we're gonna move into reading and writing. What we'd love for you to do is to log into Newzilla. I'm gonna give you the opportunity to choose any article of your choice. Just make sure you, you stay within that lower range. Um, most of us do know our reading level. Um, most of the entry level selections are around the 450, the 500. Um, we are in that reading level at this point in time, so we'd like you to um, please read, take a quiz, try to get your three out of four or four out of four. If you do, that shows that you were thinking about the text. You can recall facts, information, and then last but not least, please summarize. Um, hopefully you guys have um, the template memorized. If you don't, remember that the main idea of the passage, the title is in quotation marks. A quote or a sentence, mo most of the lower leveled um, articles usually don't have a quote, so you can ignore that. But if there is a quote um, and you like it, um, please tell us why you chose that. Make sure um, that when you do um, identify a quote, you place it in quotation marks. Um, asking a question is something to help you to think about what you've read and to, to take it to a, a further complexity. Um, identifying facts that you've learned and then why it's important to read this selection um, is a great way to help you to summarize an expository text. Remember, this is nonfiction. It is expository. This is real. Okay. Hopefully you can do this uh, this week. Um, I will be checking in with you. Um, giving you guys feedback, uh, and uh, once again, distance learning, week number one. I know you guys will do amazing. Work hard, and we'll chat soon. Bye, guys.